So now we're on D1 and we need to justify the benefits of preparation in supporting own understanding of the expectations of work experience. That sounds very long winded, but what I understood from that, this is how I would simplify it. What are the benefits of knowing what is expected of you and uh, justify why the benefits are good? And again, it's always going to be to support your own understanding of work experience. And again, it's going to be your specific work experience. So let me try and go through this, how I interpret this or how I think it should be done. You know what you need to do for you and for the company. So the company you are going to be working for. So let's just say you're an electronic engineer, right? And on the job specification, you need to learn certain things because again, you're not fully competent at everything, which is perfectly fine. That's not an issue. You're not fully competent at everything. And every job description that you look at, they say things like you, you have to have some knowledge of C, you have to have some knowledge of VHD hell, you have to have some knowledge of PLCs, right? The good thing about knowing what is expected of you or justify the benefits of knowing that this is what expected of you is that you know it beforehand. If you know that you are horrible at C, so C is a programming language, right? You're horrible at C. Maybe applying for this job right now is not a great idea. So this is how I would maybe just start framing an, um, an introduction by saying, uh, you know what you need to do for you and you know what you need to do for the company. Obviously, you word it a lot better than I have here and give an example. So, for example, a few job roles might say you have to have knowledge of these things, for example, C, VHDL and, a P and PLCs. If you have that knowledge and if you know what that is expected of you, that's perfectly fine. But if you don't have that knowledge and you know what? that that's what's expected of you, what you could do is go ahead and gain that knowledge. Go ahead and start learning. And the next point I've had, again, this could be your nice introduction as well. Be better at this. So I've said documenting and welding. And again, basic example, the company or engineering type of job that you're applying for needs you to be able to document things very, very, very well, which most of you will already know how to do because it's just a word document, right? Just putting the details in a word document. However, you might need to become better at this. It's not going to be the simple coursework that you've been doing at college or uni. It's going to be a lot more detailed. So this is how I would probably frame my introduction. Let me move down. Examples of competencies, expectations. You know what you need to do for them, the company. So again, I've mentioned create documentation. So the benefit of knowing what is expected of you, you know prior to getting there so you don't make a fool of yourself so you can start teaching yourself so you can start making your skills better so so you can bolster your cv so it looks better than your competition not many people are going to sit down and try and get the prerequisites of a job done many people your age are going to want to go there and learn on the job but if you've already done some learning before that's a massive benefit so as i've said here learn some things ahead of time if possibly in order to ease into the world of work you don't want to get there day one and you know absolutely nothing that you need to know that's going to put you back potentially days or weeks next i have you will have some insight into the following norms again if you know what the expectations are the legal expectations the moral expectations the ethical professional and social expectations then that's fine so for example the legal expectations why is this important to have insight into this you don't want to go there and make a silly mistake which is going to put you in trouble and put the company in trouble as a basic one right uh, let's jump down to social why is it important to have an insight into the social expectations of that company you don't want to be the only person wearing jeans and t-shirt you don't want to be the only person in a suit and a tie if it is re if if the norm is uh people wear let let's say overalls right is you're going to stand out like a sore thumb it's not going to be very sensible uh professional why is it important to have an insight into the professionalism of that company some companies they don't want you to message anyone after 6 p.m right that that may be a social norm as well which is fine some company don't want that some company don't want you to speak to anyone without documenting it and the best way to do that is typically via emails microsoft teams or google chat whatever the case is so look into the benefits of of actually knowing these things before you get there because again the question said justify the benefits of prep um, of preparation and supporting own understanding of the expectations so you're looking at the expectations and you're saying, what are the benefits of knowing these things beforehand? And let me move down. Um, okay. And the last section I have is what are the benefits of knowing what is expected of you for time management? You guys coming from college, university, sec secondary school, you probably always had a timetable. You probably always had a deadline for coursework. You probably always had loads of things to try and get keep you on task or, or help you with your time management. In a company, in an engineering company, you might not have that. Uh, your boss manager might come to you and say to you simply, here's a task, you have three months, go away and do it. 
Now, you have to make sure that you manage your time. So what are the benefits of knowing that time management is something that's expected of you? What are the benefits knowing that planning your task is expected of you again? You might have to plan tasks with someone else. But again, if it's, a, if it's an expectation that you have to plan and you have to plan with other people, you're going to go on YouTube, go on Google and learn some planning techniques that, that can be done for multiple people, right? Again, it's all about the benefits of knowing what is expected of you. I'm going to keep repeating that until it sticks in your head. The benefits of knowing what is expected of you. If time management is, is, is expected of you, you'll go ahead and learn some time management skills. You'll go ahead and put some things in place to make sure that your time management skills are improved. If planning tasks are expected of you, you're not just going to be given tasks and a time frame and a, did, and a due date and everything, then you're, you're going to go ahead and look into how to plan more effectively, how to plan tasks with other people, how to share tasks, how to maybe work online collaboratively so you can be on OneDrive and they can be on OneDrive and you guys can be typing in the same document at the same time. Now, this is just me freestyling, but whatever you think is important, right? What skills or things does your branch of engineering expect of you? I've been speaking extensively about uh, stuff like welding and electronic engineering. But if your branch of engineering needs you to do something else, simply make a decent list here. Right? I've said time management, planning tasks. Again, I've stolen from the previous section. What are the benefits of knowing what's expected of you in terms of time management? What are the benefits of knowing what is expected of you in terms of planning tasks? What are simply the benefits of knowing what is expected of you on your work experience in general? And again, I'm going to repeat, you don't go there looking like a fool. You don't go there looking silly. You don't go there turning up being the only person that actually has no idea what's going on. A simple thing like uh, C and VHDL, every electronic engineer needs to at least know what these things are. You might not be perfect at programming C or using VHDL to, um, to control hardware, but the fact that you know what it is gives you a better standing than someone who doesn't. Because someone who doesn't, not only are they going to have to teach them or, or, or describe or define what C is, but they're going to also have to teach them as well how to use C to solve their problems. So if you've already jumped over one hurdle by actually knowing that it is expected of you to know about C, it is expected of you to know about VHDL, then it's, 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 it's going to ease you into that workplace or that task or that job a lot better. So hopefully that made sense. So again, justify the benefits of preparation in supporting own understanding of the expectations of work experience. Simply put, what are the benefits of knowing what is expected of you and justify why the benefits are good. So tell me why it's good to know what is expected of you. That's probably, that probably would have been a better way to word that. Why is it important to know what is expected of you? Give me reasons as to why. So that's everything for D, I think it's D1. So hopefully you guys found that useful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will try my very best to answer as much as I can. I'm going to be having a document at some point, which I might share with you guys, which has every single uh, criteria. So P1, P2, P3, P4, M1, M2, D1. And I'm going to have questions that you have to answer. And after answering all of those questions, you would have built up enough um, in that document to constitute the criteria for that. 